Hello, hi, how are you today? I know how you are. You're feeling like shit about now. It's November. It's a new moon. We get ginormous retrograde energy. There's a lot going on and you don't feel okay. And maybe you don't feel totally sick and it's not PMS, but you don't feel okay. You might be having cramps in your legs or like some people where it feels like rigor. It's like somehow your muscles are so tight and the nerves are cramping and you're having pains. You might be having heart palpitations. You could be having the thoughts, the thoughts of, is this even real? Did I delude myself? You're not. Welcome to It's Pivotal. Okay, this is a big gateway, this energy here as we go into 2025, because the major ascension is slated for 20, 20, sorry, 2025 to 2027 with even more stuff that's magical happening in 2028. Don't believe me? Ask some of the astrologers. They're going to tell you how some of this astrology is like opening up and opening up doors. And at the same time, you are getting rid of an entire paradigm. So just imagine how it is as you're pulling in all your kundalini energy or you're trying to, but you don't know what to do. You're waking up at night. You don't feel okay. Let me ask you some questions. Do you feel feelings of dread? Do you feel like, oh, I just don't know if I can face another day. And then your mind starts going, did it, did it, did it. I could do this. I could do that. I should just date someone. And I'm going to tell you right now, don't just date someone because that's not really going to help the situation. What you need to do is focus on making your light body make you feel better. You have a brand new body. Now I talk about this all the time because this is my expertise. This is what I do. So if you'd like to get back to basics, to really learn the light body and learn some of the techniques that you need to get you through certain shitty energies. Okay, there's there's no other way to describe it sometimes. The energies are brutal, they're intense, but sometimes you can just feel like you've lost your enthusiasm for your own damn life and you're not sure of what to do. And it's that real for you. And you're sitting there going, do I have imposter syndrome? No. Because imposter syndrome tells you like, oh, you're doing it, but you can't do it, but you're already doing it. That's when that kicks in. This is deeper and you don't know what to do because this is new and it involves your brand new light body. This is a part of ascension and this is the stuff that it takes to be able to maintain a very high vibrational connection for your life, for yourself while you're flying solo, while you are a solo person as part of a unifying process. Okay, and don't look at those people that say they're together. They ain't even talking about this and they still feel like shit sometimes. Take my word for it. I've been on things where they're together and they're having things going on like TIs or other things are blowing up in their life. That doesn't happen if people aren't doing the work. What should be happening in this kind of new moon energy is, look, you should be at a point where you're finally able to clear out reproductive energies, love energies that you've utilized with other people, sometimes to make other people, like your children, your babies, and your soul wants all that back to you. You lent it out very kindly. Oh, yes, children, I love you. I've created you. And I love you, love you, love you long time. But I need my energy back. Your body has connection points where your own energy is needed back to you. So that's a part of what's happening here. Your heart, what have you given heart and soul to? And a lot of people are hating their job. I've heard from a lot of people lately where they're like, I hate my nine to five. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Do this, okay? Learn from me. Learn how to do it. I have a five-module practitioner course because people are going to keep coming and keep coming and keep awakening. You awaken for a reason, but it's easy to forget it when you feel like, is this like how it's supposed to feel? 
No, this is what it feels like when you are releasing and discarding the past. It's like drawing in, this is your story. Oh, you had that story there? Well, guess what? We don't need 90% of the story. We're discarding it. We're taking the parts that's usable. We're going to put it into your Akashic Records, your own library. And you know what? We just don't need it. We don't need you to repeat that story. You got that. But what you don't got is get your light body open, get it to where it's enveloping you, get it to where it is protecting and deflecting you, get it to where it's getting rid of unwanted soulmates, okay? Get it to where you're not feeling the ick from other people because like it or not, when all of us are going through some of this, some of us can feel icky. Now that's a nice way of putting it. Can feel heavy, depressing. You can have people come over to your house and oh my God, the holidays are coming. We just had one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. We have Sawan. We have All Saints Day. We have Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. And all of this energy is about the thinning of the veil. Okay, all of those holidays, I should say, are about honoring the energy that happens this particular time of year, which has to do with thinning of the veil so that you can have breakthroughs. It's that simple. Break through. Break through the dimension. Connect. Connect to lost loved ones. Connect to who you really love. Who is that? Okay, now you're seeing where this is going. But this one is really pivotal because this is one where you could kind of catapult. This is like catapulting energy. So I can't help you unless you show up. And showing up means schedule, join, reach out. And I am doing this. This is my gift that I've been given to help people with. And I... I love to help people. I love to help you from feeling icky, depressed, dreading, dreading your life. Look, if you're having these feelings of like, my life is coming to an end. And yet logically, you know, like I'm too young for that, but I don't know what the future holds. I dread going to work. I dread whatever's next. I dread being alone. I just, I dread, I dread, or worse, you're having feelings of doom. Okay, some of that is through the collective and some of that is from your past. I have several sessions to help you address this so you could see where this is really coming from instead of analyzing it or feeling like, am I ever going to get through this? Or maybe I just deluded myself. Look, if you already had an activation and you're aware of this, you can try to go into denial. But what I suggest is work with me with your new light body so that you feel better. You feel actually like you have a handle on this. You have techniques. You have things that you can do. And so if you've never done that, you can join. If you would feel like you've done it, but it's been a while and you're just kind of like, I think I need to, you know, really guess, get back to the beginning get your basics, get this under your belt, learn how to do this. That is what I'm teaching. If you're a female, how do you get rid of these feelings of blah? Well, I'll tell you what I've been doing. What I've been doing is I've been taking two Dung Quai capsules per day for about the past week. You're going to feel a void of course energy. This may be where you just feel so tired, you just have to drop what you're doing and go lay down. That's a part of surrender. You need to do that. But there are herbs that I recommend. There are essential oils that I recommend. And there are other things that I recommend, such as breath work. Breath, the proper breath work will activate your reflexology points to get uh, certain parts open. Now, you think of your light body as like one big ginormous, like, you know, you're like one big amorphous being now. You, there is structure to it, just like there is structure to your physical body. And not only that, I've diagrammed things. I have cute diagrams. 
I have things that my mom helped me to create on her Adobe suite because she used to teach that, Adobe Illustrator, and she's really good. As you know from some of my whiteboards, I'm not truly an artist, but I do know good artists. And I implore them to please help the people that I want to show this to so that they have a visual and they hear it. And my job to get you to experience it. Because unless you experience it, it doesn't like really hit home for you. And it quite frankly can't feel like home. And it can't feel like your future home or the direction you're going in. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you really understand that, you know, all of us are in this together. And yet some of us are going ahead I've gone first and I can turn around now and help people having completed the steps and formatted it and made sense of it and actually put it into English and not just some like amorphous like we would all love that, right? I mean, I anoint you and I anoint you. We can't do that. I sometimes wish to God I could do that because it's easier than getting people to um, just do a few daily things. But I have broken it down to make it easy. And so if you want the experiences, join. If you want to clear, join, have a session, get coaching. If you're stumped, if you're stuck, just do it. I mean, you know where I'm at, okay? You know where I'm at. I, I'm here. I'm in Chicago. And... Looking to set up my next live workshop classes for local people or even people that come in for it. Let me know. And you can see uh, my new website at twinflamereconnection.com. Thank you.